Hajime Mashta, Mo Echido, Mohivakada, no video e Yokozo. Demo, Imakala, Ego o Hadashimas. Welcome back to another DIY Japanese alphabets video. In this lesson, we're only going to cover all the hiragana that end with a vowel e. I won't do a full week up of the previous videos. This one should hopefully be shorter, as there are only seven of them to learn, in contrast to the previous lesson where we had to learn nine. So, why is that? So, if you started to learn hiragana by using the same consonants such as ma, me, mi, mo, mu, you'll find out that it's not a consistent way of learning at all. That is because hiragana does not cover every sound nor syllable in the English language. To put it shortly, all the hiraganas that begin with Y only have three hiraganas instead of five, and as for W, there's only two. To keep it short, there are no ye nor where sounds, because they're not necessary and they don't exist in modern Japanese writing. Well, actually, there used to be a special hiragana for the where sound. They looked like something like this. But, as language evolved over time, it wasn't needed anymore, and it gradually died out, pretty much like old English words, for example. The old English word for fair used to be ye. So, apart from that, shall we start? Meh. This one kind of looks like an upside down pretzel. If you have some string, no, and no pipe, sorry, let's start again. Meh. This one looks like an upside down pretzel. If you have some string or pipe cleaners available, you can turn a lowercase m into meh. One more piece of advice. Beware of the hiragana nu, because it looks identical to meh, except that it has a tail. These two may give you problems. Not only do they look similar, but you'll see them at the end of sentences to boost vocabulary. Where or le? It's by the end of verbs to turn them into authoritative commands. Or, in other words, if someone gives you an order and you have no choice but to obey it. If you've been to Japan already, you've probably seen re or le on the end of stop signs. Tomo re means stop, and the re or le turns a word into a command ordering you to stop. Ne is used at the end of casual sentences to turn them into tag questions. And if you have no idea what a tag question is, it's basically the Japanese equivalent of tagging little phrases on the end of words like e eh, and isn't it. For example, e des, that's good. And e des ne, that's good, isn't it? Or that's good, right? It's quite, quite an easy word to use. You also hear words like sigoi ne, which means it's amazing, isn't it? Or shogunai ne, he. This one looks like a roof of a house, a hill, a top of a man's head, or something else high, beginning with H. Ke. If you look very closely, it does kind of look like a ke. No. Okay, well, in that case. now. So, this one is quite trivial. Get a square, do a bit of rearranging, so that eventually it looks like a set. Te. I have to use some special effects for this one. only works 50% of the time, but take that little bit on the end of the way and it does look more like tear. Unfortunately, there aren't many words that can be used 
No, let's start again. Unfortunately, there aren't so many words that can be made with the air here at Gunners alone. However, at this point, you may or may not already know that you can make words using only one Hiragana or sound. Yes, that's right. So, here we go. Me means I. Se means length. And te means hand. All three words are written in kanji 100% of the time. So, if you know kanji already, you should have no problem at all. But listening to them will be an entirely different subject. Also, the kanji word te is also used in kwate. He has another use as well. It's not a word, so to speak, but a direction particle, used in place of the English word to, as in you're going to somewhere. For example, Nihongo de Tokyo e ikimasu. I'm going to Tokyo. When he is used like this, it's pronounced e. And also, in this sentence, the destination comes first, followed by the particle and then the verb. That's how Japanese grammar works out. And that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, like watching the special effects. And remember, in the end, learning Japanese is not difficult at all. So, matinee.